What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Random Pack Opening video this time guys. In this video we'll be opening uh, what our sponsor has sent us today. He has sent us some awesome packs uh, to open, just a mixture of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and old school packs which we'll be opening. So hopefully fingers crossed for a couple of hollows. Um, anything good that we get in here of course will probably be off the PSA as my sponsor Mr. Joey Wheeler is a big fan of grading cards. So guys, yeah, today in this video, what we'll be opening, we'll be opening this Magic Ruler Unlimited pack, this Pharaoh's Servant Unlimited pack as well, uh, Power of the Duelist First Edition, uh, Power of the Duelist Unlimited Edition as well, a First Edition Enemy of Justice, the First Edition Lost Millennium Euro pack, Rise of Destiny, Cyberdark Impact, and Force of the Breaker, everybody. So very excited for this random pack opening. I'm not sure what we're going to get. We're going to hope for, let's say, two hollows. Two hollows would be good out of nine packs. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed for some epic pulls, of course. And uh, if you're enjoying uh, my channel, guys, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the um, casual Yugi stuff channel. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below as well if you enjoy the video. and want to hit me up down in the comment section. So fantastic, guys. I don't really know where we should begin here. But of course, we'll begin with uh, our first pack. So I'll just put them down here in front of us. And we'll probably go with the Force of the Breaker first pack, guys. Epic first edition set. Uh, really good cards in here. Would love to pull a Crystal Beast Ultimate Rare. Who knows? Let's see, guys. Let's see what we can get in Force of the Breaker. These packs were purchased randomly, so who knows? They could be scaled, they could not be scaled, but that's always the risk that you run. And you open packs. So here we have a hard selling zombie, Gravy Crush Dragon, Wild Fire, Last Resort, and a Zeraldis Herald of Heaven. So nothing at the moment. It's just a nice little rare. Crystal Promise, Volcanic Scattershot, Crystal Raigeki, and Secrets of the Gallant. So nothing in that bit in that um Pack there guys, just a rare. So we'll move on to Cyberdark Impact next guys, an epic set indeed. Cyberdark Impact. Let's see guys. Can we get anything good out of Cyberdark Impact? We'll wait and see. Okie dokie. So, uh, Ritual uh, Foregone, it's a little ding in the corner. Counter Cleaner. Blast Asmodian. Instant Fusion, good common to get, and a Dimensional Inversion, just another rare unfortunately guys. Uh, Man Beast of Ares, Accumulated Fortune, Barrier Statue of Stormwind, and Chain Strike. So, 0 for 2 at the moment when it comes to Hollows, but hopefully Rise of Destiny can give us some epic destiny, <laughs> essentially. Let's see, I want to get a whiff of this pack guys. Oh, beautiful smell on the Rise of Destiny booster pack. Yeah, I think the seller who sold these guys was essentially um, someone on eBay, which my sponsor bought them from. Um, literally just listed a lot of, of packs, and my sponsor swooped them up and sent them to me for, for opening for you guys. So, Rock from the Valley of Hay, such a nostalgic card. Element Magician. Back to Square One, again, a very, very nostalgic card. Discard one card from your hand, return one monster from the field to the top of the owner's deck. Zing, Zen, Hu. And do we have anything here, guys? Yes, we have a super rare. Monster Incarnation. Sorry, Monster Reincarnation. Really nice. Look at that. What a beautiful holographic card. Pretty, pretty good. Excellent. We'll sleeve up our Monster Reincarnation, guys, with a soft sleeve because we protect our cards. Looking pretty, pretty epic. So, really good way to start. We got a little hollow, so one in three um, packs so far. Harpy Lady number one, uh, Fruits of Kozaki Studies, Pitch Black Werewolf, and Ballaster of Rampart um, Smashing. So we've got a little hollow, guys. Oh, Lost Millennium, I kind of want to open last. Let's go for a Power of the Duelist Unlimited now. Power of the Duelist. Okay. These are all European packs, guys. So what I was saying earlier is the... Um, hobby retail story kind of goes out the window because um, well especially for unlimited but for first edition packs as well um, basically um, what you need to know is only for the North American printing so the American packs only have um, 
ultimate rares which are super rares or ultra rares in hobby boxes and um, ultra rare, ultimate rares which are um, rares as um, retail boxes um, yeah so that kind of goes out the window for the packs here so we can get anything guys we can get an ultimate red uh, dark panther dark neos or yeah even dark panther essentially so chrysalis dolphin Rallis the star bird elemental hero neos here he is the big boy vehicle road connection zone and a cyber summon blaster rare Synthetic uh, Seraphim, Wonder Garage, Fossil Excavation, and Sabersaurus. Very nice beat stick car back in the day, 1900, similar to Water Raider, of course. Um, great, let's change it up with some old school. Let's go for Pharaoh's Servant now. Pharaoh's Servant came out back in 2003 now, guys, which is incredible. So long ago. Definitely have to give a whiff of this. Oh, smells so good. Smells absolutely epic. Oh, we've got a little line here as well, guys. Could we get a could we get a Jinzo? I'm actually sketching Jinzo today. Oh god. Hopefully that's something there, guys. Who knows? Wow, we'll do this slowly for this one. So twin-headed fire dragon. Very nostalgic uh, vanilla monster there. Epic. Invitation to a dark sleep. Freaky card. Mystic Probe. Solomon's Law Book. Let's go from the back now. Armoured Glass. Wing Weaver. Numinous Healer. And here we have the Hollow, I think. No, it's uh, Overdrive. And here we should have a Rare or a Hollow, guys. Let's see what we can get for our sponsor. Hey, a Fairy Meteor Crush. Awesome. Fairy Meteor Crush. Crush, um, super rare guys, not too bad at all. This is the first card ever to introduce the piercing effect. A little fun fact, um, before, you know, attacking a defense position monster and inflicting battle damage uh, was a thing, uh, the Fairy Meteor Crush effect it was what it used to be called. So, you know, equipping this card to your monster allows it to inflict piercing. So back in the day, any cards, you know, Avenging Knight Parshath or, uh, well, Ancient Gigol or maybe not, but cards which are a lot older that had piercing so mad sword beast for example as well was a was a good card to have but yeah fairy meter crush guys the piercing fairy meter crush effect so another spell card guys which is a which is a hollow so not not too bad i think okay um yeah let's go on to a power of the duelist first edition european um hobby slash retail pack all this one just ripped Let's see what we can get in the Power of the Duelist pack. Oh, looks good. It's looking pretty good. Let's see what we can get in here. Well, we'll see. Royal Writ of Taxation. Decoy Roid. Vehicroid Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Fossil Excavation. Malusum of the Emperor. Quite a good, good common. Common Soul. Bite Leon, and do we have anything here, guys? Yes, we do. It's a Destiny Hero Double Dude, super rare again. So that's the third Hollow, guys. Another super rare, beautiful Double Dude. Would have been even better in Ultimate Rare, <laughs> but still a Double Dude. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really good pull. So we'll sleeve up our Double Dude and put him there as well in the background. So three Hollow so far, guys. Out of is that five packs. Three out of six packs, so half the ratio, we've got hollow, so that's pretty good so far. Um, but guys, smash that uh, thumbs up button for some luck now, because some big packs are coming up. We've got Lost Millennium, Enemy of Justice, and Magic Ruler. Can we get an ultimate rare cover card from GX, or a Relinquished, or a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon um, original print uh, from Magic Ruler? Let's see. Let's just put these rares to the side with the commons as well. So three packs to go, guys. Which one should we go for? I'm feeling we go for Magic Ruler. And we'll leave the big GX packs till last. Because there's a potential we can get an ultimate rare cover card. So Magic Ruler. Again, guys, wanna <sighs> Don't hate. The smell just gives you shivers. <laughs> right, so ooh, not looking great for this one. Ancient uh, one of the deep forest. Cool. Fire Kraken. Dark Witch, what a classic, classic card. Molten Destruction, and Horn of the Unicorn, beautiful card to get, even though it's not a hollow, it's such a nostalgic card. Metal Fish, I think this might be a short print. 
Horn of the Light, Sonic Bird, great common, and Typhoon number two. After our last two packs, everybody, we'll go for Enemy of Justice now. Enemy of Justice. Can we get a Shining Phoenix Enforcer first edition? I hope we can. This pack was, what, 2006 this came out, I think? So it's very, very old pack. Let's see. Okie dokie. It's not looking great, but you never know. Swift Birdman Joe. H. Heated Heart. R. Righteous Justice. Oh, Oversoul. We're going for the whole hero here. Um, Power Capsule. Battery Man D. Guard Dog. Bountiful Artemis. And here we go, guys. Have we got anything behind our Oversoul? No, we don't. We have a Malicious Descent, unfortunately, guys. Just the rare. Oh, almost spelt out Hero, though, in that pack, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, guys, so down to the last pack of this random Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Um, Lost Millennium, such a classic nostalgic pack with Ancient Gear Golem on there. So hopefully we get a hollow out of this Lost Millennium. We're hoping for an ultimate rare, really. But yeah, again, thank you so much, Mr. Sponsor, for sending us these packs to open. And uh, we'll give the last pack a quick kiss on the channel. And we'll open the Lost Millennium First Edition European pack. You can see it's European by these thick sort of lips that the pack does have. Normally they're sort of crinkled, uh, a bit more thin um, when they are uh, North American packs. I'm trying to destroy this pack. Too much. Let's see if it will open. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Let's have a little look. If we get an ancient gig on my swear guys, I'm going crazy. Or even a wing Kariba or anything. Oh, it's looking pretty good, guys. It's looking pretty good. We might end on a hollow. Let's see. Monk Fighter. Des Wombat. Medusa Worm. Mine Golem. Can there be an ancient gig on behind a mine golem, guys? Impenetrable formation. Elemental Hero Sparkman. You can tell these are European cards. They're so dark. Then we have a Gift of the Marita. Rock Bombardment, guys. And here we go. Have we got a hollow in our Lost Millennium pack, guys? Okay. It is. I think it is a hollow. It's a Master Monk, super rare. Ooh, we did get a holo, guys, but it wasn't an alternate rare. But it's another super rare, so it's not too bad. I'm happy with that, and hopefully our sponsor will be as well, because that is a sweet-looking holo with his big foot giving you a nice kick in the face. <laughs> yeah, kicking the face for thinking it was Ancient Gear Golem, pretty much. <laughs> so we've got four hollows out of nine packs, guys. That's actually not a bad pack opening, um, ratio-wise. But yeah, guys, we've got some cool cards here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's always, you know, possibility... Especially when the packs are on scale that we do get something epic. So really, really uh, great video here, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. So please smash the thumbs up button if you have. And uh, check out my other videos because I've got quite a few opening videos. As well as Mail Days and PSA Returns and the lot. So thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Kajiyugi Stuff. I'll catch you all in the next one.